is Amanda from KCPI, and today I just had a few tips and tricks for you when it comes to choosing a paranormal team. First of all, congratulations for keeping an open mind to the paranormal world and inviting someone into your home to investigate your thoughts and the feelings that you've been experiencing. That's actually a really big step. The first step that you really need to take, though, whenever considering bringing a group of paranormal investigators into your home is to make a list of your expectations. What are you seeking from an investigation? Are you seeking validation? Are you seeking cleansing? Perhaps a home blessing? Not all paranormal groups are created the same. So really take the time to make a list of what you want and what's gonna best fit your needs. After you've found a group that seems to fit your needs that you're a little bit interested in is when we start step two. Check out their website. You can learn so much from a group's website just based on the wording they use, the type of evidence they post, and just the general feel of the business that they conduct. It's always a really great idea to just go on your instincts and completely just trust your instincts when choosing someone to bring into your home. Tip three, check your dates. It's not bad to be a newbie team, but it's bad to be a newbie team advertising that you've been around longer than you have. Go to Google, it's your best friend, take a look at the dates that they say that they were founded, and look for investigations for that first year that they were around. That'll give you proof of how long they've really been in the paranormal world. Tip four, research the group's members. If the website gives a biography list, take the time to read each one. You can use web services such as CaseNet and even simple Google to do background checks from home. Your home is your castle and you don't want to just let anyone into it. Tip five, Make contact with the team. Don't be afraid to conduct your own phone interview with the team. If a list of references is available on their website, do not hesitate to check them and make those calls. Tip six, investigate further. Find out which methods and approaches the team that you chose will use whenever they come into a potentially haunted situation. Remember questions like, if you have an entity that's showing signs of being malicious, do you want to invite in a team that uses provocations in their methods? through these steps, here are a few questions to keep in the back of your mind as you're going along. Does your paranormal team do research on your property to kind of understand the history behind it? Does the group offer follow-up services just in case at a future date you need their services again? And also, do they offer a resolution to the problems you've been experiencing in your home? Can they direct you to a clergy member to possibly rid or cleanse your home of the entity if that's what you so choose? Keep these questions in mind, because like I said, not all groups are created equal. Last but not least, does the group that you chose charge for their services? Never, and I repeat, never pay for a paranormal investigation. In the paranormal field, there are no experts. So if you find yourself reading the word expert, that should be a clear sign to close the door. In this field, we are all learning theories and technologies that have not been proven yet. That is why it is called research, because we are all just trying to learn. And these are just a few things that you can consider when choosing a paranormal team to come into your home. Do not be afraid to do your own investigation first. Bye guys, thank you for listening. This is Amanda from KCPI signing out.